Hello, good evening everybody. This is Michael from Estonia. Uh, today we're going to talk about the technology that has come here to stay. The revolution in technology that uh, many of you have already heard, but uh, many of you might hear this information for the first time. So I try to make it as simple as possible. And if you want more thorough information, you can always search it from the web or from your back office, where are all the documents and, and etc. located. So you can find, find all the necessary details from there. Uh, and maybe without further in introduction, I will just say that I have been uh, investor for three years, a little bit more than uh, three years by now and I have gathered a lot of information. I have been twice both in Belarus in Eco Techno Park where is the demonstration and certification uh, center and also I have been twice in United Arab Emirates in Emirate called Sarja where is the innovation center. Uh, well what are the reasons or why there are two of them I will tell you in the presentation but it's mainly because to show the world that that we have a real technology not only not only on paper but in real life as well so to materialize it and the other aspect is to certificate it um, uh, for different regions for example like uh, in belarus the certification process has been done already for uh, multiple um, models for example like unibike or unibus and and uh, those certifications are approved Belarus and Russian standards so um, but for uh, for uh, tropical climates we need different continent to construct it and to certificate it so that's why there is in United Arab Emirates as well and currently the certification process is the development in um, uh, Europe and let's see if there will be a certification and demonstration park as well or, or there will be the first commercial track and uh, through, the, through the building of this track the certification process will all begin. But all right, let's see. Maybe many of you already know this as well but uh, if you don't know yet then Anna Kiniski is the creator and the author of this technology, of Skyway technology and he recently um, uh, got 73, 72 years old, so uh, quite age already. But as he is already said himself as well, that, uh, that uh, he will see all of this with his own eyes as well, how, how the world will start constructing the um, Skyway routes. So, so he's in, in very good shape. I have seen him myself also twice or, or three times even and talked with him uh, a little bit and then he's, he's in very good shape and very bright minded and uh, maybe you maybe this is also interesting but uh, more than 40 years ago he started with this uh, project for, at first in his uh, mind but then on the papers and he, he started to think think about uh, well out of the box and then he, that we need to to move on another levels on second level with our transportation systems because otherwise we well the, the things will get very complicated on the first level with with this um, uh, well with moving moving for for people and moving for vehicles and and goods as well the car good transport but all right let's see as i told you we have two parks and uh, the most recent uh, certification uh, center uh, located in Sarcha has already well the first uh, route is already constructed the 400 meter route and the uh, demonstration and certification process have already uh, are all, also already started actually for a while now and currently there are two other tracks which are both two and a half kilometer long in distance and those are meant for different uh, models for heavy heavyweight mainly so there will be the um, cargo transporters, the heavy ones, and also 
um, the, these uh, unibuses, but which take uh, more than 100 people on board at the time, because currently there are about uh, 20 people maximum to board at the same time. Models which are already developed, but uh, but of course we need the bigger ones as well. So those will be soon available for us to see and and witness. And of course there are many other projects as well. There are many secret projects, but one project which is not a secret project is the Echo House, and. Um, and Ecos is basically a fully sustainable house which produces, uh, well, which is meant to produce everything by itself the water, the heat, the or the food, or, or, or whatever uh, well, humans need. And then uh, what is uh, interesting fact is that this Echo house is made from wood, and this is first wooden house ever been built in United Arab Emirates in the history. Mm, and then the, that shows how great uh, relationships Anatoly Unisk and Skyway members have with, with the local government there. And uh, one more picture from a different angle. And now I will show you the, mm, the tropical unibus, which is already running there. And, uh, and then uh, it will be revolutionary. And the sheikhs are very interested and missed by this technology. The delegations from different uh, Emirates and then from different tropical climates uh, um, constantly visit the innovation center there, which uh, which shows there is a great interest and then the great impact already made. And I told you before that there will be two uh, another tracks for sea containers, but the first track as well is capable uh, transporting sea containers, as you can see. Picture, and uh, it's very interesting because, uh, well, first of all, it's on the second level. Uh, secondly, it uh, goes about eighty to hundred kilometers per hour, which is uh, more than double the the speed of uh, normal trucks. And and the loading and unloading or docking and undocking uh, process takes less than one minute, so it's very fast. All the process is fast. It's on the second level. It has no, no um, obligations or, or obstacles on the, on the first ground. So the traffic jams do not uh, mean, um, do not impact uh, the speed of, of Skyway transportation solutions. So these are the recent pictures I showed you before. And now let's get to and today. I will, I will tell you about the briefly about the history. And then we see uh, the main reason why Skyway today, why is it uh, a revolutionary technology and why it beats all the other technologies that are uh, that are currently or, or uh, well, which are existing. So first of all, uh, about 100, well, a little bit less than 100 years ago, already an artist uh, imagined uh, this, uh, this our transportation, uh, well, how the world will look like, and he envisioned that uh, there will be a second level transportation system, as you can see on this picture. And well, if you think about uh, well, about the main biggest cities which we have in Europe, for example, like Moscow or uh, Peter, Saint Peter or or Paris or Rome, for example, all those uh, cities have first level instruction, all the taxis, tra tramways, trains cars, uh, buses, also they have metros, so underground uh, uh, transportation systems. But the problems still occur, the problems even uh, grow because the population grows and the number of vehicles grow. Um, the, but there is no place to build uh, roads anymore, especially in a city. So we cannot just tear down the houses from the sides and, and build new roads there. So the next logical and reasonable way where to go is up on the second level. And of course, humans have tried it before in history, for example, with, uh, well, with normal trains, building it on the, on the uh, higher track. And rail on the right side is one transportation system, which, uh, 
which uh, has been developed and built in many places, but it's not that popular due, mainly due to because uh, it is mm, expensive. It makes a lot of noise. It's very massive by its construction. If you look at that, uh, the construction or the, or the, or the road uh, structure of it, then, then you can imagine that uh, it is quite heavy and therefore very expensive to build. And it's not that as fast as well. Of course, in, there are more options in uh, Berlin, in Germany. Already about 20 years ago, there was uh, technology like this built. But if you take a look at the um, supports, uh, which hold the road structure above, they have to be after every 10, 15, in the mid, so uh, so very um, they cannot be like with sky where we, we can even leverage it up to 400 meters this uh, uh, supports so it makes it much less costly the skyway but this is again very expensive very massive construction but exists then let's go to china where we have a tram basically by by the technology itself it is tram but it's so nothing that special there and uh, well centuries ago there was uh, technologies like this which yes you, you should see this now uh, like on the left side but then they used the rocks and and wood and chains to well so the first trains or the uh, similar technologies like this the olden age age uh, but today this uh, well what is the technology technological aspect of these uh, uh, models uh, or transportation systems is that uh, they basically uh, hang on the well rope or chain and the chain moves itself so there are engines um, in in one end or in the in this in the beginning or beginning of the road or in the end of the the road with the uh, turns around and that one turns around the chain as well but the technology uh, well the models uh, hang tightly uh, or still to the to the chains itself so the the models do not move on on the track but the track moves and then we have uh, as i mentioned before i believe many of you are are familiar with this technology they are very expensive i believe one of the most expensive technologies to, to build and construct, especially underground. And for example, on the Second Avenue, uh, quite recently, they constructed a, a metro system, which uh, one kilometer cost about, uh, more, well, more than one billion US dollars. So, yeah. Quite amazing how expensive these technologies can be. But then uh, we have Skyway. So let me welcome you to a new age, to the century. As you already on this picture, this uh, road is very neat. It's it's very um, thin and, and very classy. So, so it's great to start the, uh, the main part of the presentation or the second part of the main part presentation which is why skyway Let's do that well first of all it is innovative it is uh, something uh, absolutely new well the the metal con the metal construction parts or the rails those exist for a long time by now but uh, but how they are all uh, put together that's uh, new and patented by anatolia and sky of course and as you can see on this uh, as well, this is the heavy rail, uh, well, the, the track which uh, which can uh, lift or hold heavy weight as well. So basically this can go both sides. On upper side, we can have a fast line, which is up to five to 600 kilometers per hour. And underneath it, it can be, well, for example, the fast line can make only maybe one stop uh, for, for the route, but uh, then we can have these unibuses below which will make more stops for example to to let people out or, or uh, 
that people come in and, and that uh, uh, that one goes up to 150 kilometers per, per hour so the speeds are very good let's see then a little bit about the track construction itself so basically this is a, a pre-stressed string railroad which is uh, put put the, in the rail itself and it, and it's filled with a special pillar what, what is also awesome is that we can even transport different uh, well wires for example for uh, internet or for electricity we can uh, take them through the track itself and for, for example in africa where many of villages um, do not have electricity or, or the source of electricity then we can bring the source to them as well uh, when constructing the road uh, to their well not to the village but nearby their, their village so that's that's one possible and which is awesome this all goes by electricity and it is uh, possible to produce it uh, today we know that it's possible to produce electricity from the sun or from the wind uh, and the wind turbines on on or the panels can be um, implemented uh, on the on the track itself as well so the track can be fully autonomous in the future and this picture is made uh, well i made this picture in ecofest 2019 and in anywhere in the near future we have the chance again to meet with uh, well to to um, plan these big events and uh, well if the comments allow it and and um, and so on then then i recommend you very much to come there and see this all with your own eyes to to feel it and then try with the models and this is absolutely amazing experience which i recommend to all of you so let's see second uh, point ecological point and of course picture says more than thousand words if you look at the picture then then you might understand that it suits very well with nature it can be lifted even higher than the trees because uh, the track can be um, well lifted up to 50 to 100 meters of course it's much expensive than up to five or seven meters which is the optimal uh, height but uh, it is possible and and uh, and of course the electricity electrical part of it and and uh, and many other parts which i will tell you uh, in the presentation a little bit later but um, most of all we know that co2 levels have to be reduced this is an order by the governments or the well the world the directive of the world so we will see more electrical cars or um, more vehicles we already see them actually in europe but at least we have many all the scooters and bikes and uh, cars and so on which are ele electrical or uh, hybrid versions so so all the transportation systems will go there eventually probably it, it's a big a big uh, possibility but with skyway we have another aspect which is the wind resistance and uh, basically it is 10 times less than even with super supercars well almost 10 times less uh, than uh, with supercars or with uh, cars and uh, mainly because of the shape of the body of these uh, models and the other reason is the screen effect which do not occur with uh, with the skyway models because there is a rail it's um, up, up high and the wind can go below below the model and there will be no resistance like with car is the asphalt or the road basically the first level road or the ground <clears throat> let's see and now we are coming from the second level to the first level mm, i'll try if, if we'll see yeah and there are many 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 problems today and and a lot of money goes to solve these problems and then to well do mm, um well to reconstruct the roads or clean the roads or uh, and then uh, these all exist and are and a lot of money and a lot of resources goes there so all of this can be eliminated or at, at least reduced 
if we take the transportation to the second level because no wind, no ice or snow um, can can uh, well make an an uh, impact uh, which is uh, dangerous to Skyway. And for this, to to read more about the um, to read more about the technological aspects, I recommend you to read the hundred question and hundred answers. The book it's possible to find it in English uh, online, and you can get an answer to every well detailed aspect of of your questions. For example, if there is a heavy wind or earthquakes or or how much does the kilometer cost or uh, on on which it depends the cost of, of of the transportation and so on so i, I recommend to you 100 questions and 100 answers all right i will open now the second let's see what we have more yes then we have uh, well to construct the railroad uh, ordinary railroad or the traditional one the last century railroad, then we have to first dig about seven meters below the ground to fill it with uh, special fillers and materials. So, so the rails can be well uh, planted on the, on the ground floor so it can hold it also because the, uh, the drains are very heavy and it can otherwise make the uh, road well go out of shape very quickly. And even with um, well more difficult um, areas where there are mountains and a lot of rocks, then we have to um, make explosions to to build the tracks through through the mountains basically, and that is also very costly. And it should be much uh, easier to to do well what you see on the picture right now. So basically, we can just put. Uh, this size um, support here and the other size, the bigger size support here. For example, if there is a mountain like this or, or, or a ship like road, you can put it like this, you see, and it goes uh, directly from point, point A to point B without no, well, does not need any heavy construction or explosions or so on. And even the rivers, lakes, sea uh, does not uh, make any complications. Well, it is different than building on the land, of course, but uh, it's possible to to take it over the rivers and lands as well. And let's see, of course, the traffic jams. Again, because it's more than a thousand words, I will leave the ideas, the thoughts to you about uh, about this slide. I will. See, but choose, and then we can move on. All right, let's see what we have here. There are the technology itself, yes, Skyway, and these um, these are animations, but they exist already. Where the left one exists already in United Arab Emirates, and as you can see, it's it's very beautiful, and the shape of it, it's uh, it's just uh, well. It suits very well with uh, high-tech uh, cities, and uh, well, it can be uh, designed uh, as governments or as as the um, uh, as the par party of uh, who, who orders the technology, as the party wants. It, it can be designed specially for that. Well, now the third point: safety. Many of uh, you have asked me about: Is it safe? How it safe? And I can say today it is very safe. It's much safer than uh, driving with, uh, well, with cars or, or the first level transportation systems because it, there is no chance of impact with the first level um, transportation technologies. There can be no accidents uh, or, or crashes, crashes. And but but what holds it to the rail uh, very stiffly is the system which you can see on the slide right now. And basically, if we even move it upside down. Uh, then then it, it holds it there very strongly, like a spider. And then we have all these um, intelligent systems, the, the eyes, so to say, which uh, 
uh, will record or monitor um, outside the vehicle uh, 360 degrees and inside as well. So if there is an obstacle or, or some, for example, let's say some bad people want to destroy something and throw with a crane in front of the rail, then, then it sees it immediately and stops. And uh, yes, and you can see in the video how uh, Torjaniski ran in front of the uh, Unibus. It stopped, then it started running one way, it, it started following or the other, other way, it started backwarding. So yeah, I'm reversing itself. Then uh, if something happens with the model itself, so it stops on the rails, then we have exactly the same models, which uh, ha both have these elements in front and in, in the back. And those uh, elements uh, connect with each other very well. So, so it basically means it can be lifted or uh, pulled um, to the station or to the maintenance. And if something happens so strong that it's not possible even to, to pull it or, uh, well, to take it to the maintenance by other uh, model, then we have these strips which goes uh, well, like a helicopter, and you, uh, people can uh, lift themselves down on the ground. So it is safe, guys. It is very safe, and I believe it's much much safer than uh, than this situation what you can see on the screens right now. And this situation actually takes place every day in uh, tropical climates. And and uh, yeah, I think I have said all I wanted with with uh, with this category the safety so the models fourth point is that we have real models we are not just showing uh, pictures or skyway is not just saying that uh, it will come and it will be real but it is actually already real many of these models are certified already and uh, many of them are under certification and uh, and yes we can take both people and and the cargo as well to different different uh, places and the sea containers this will be revolutionary because uh, well i know that uh, one contract is under signing or, or at least uh, united arab emirates media already told about this uh, in korfakan where there should be more than 100 kilometers road for for the sea containers and 10 kilometers road for uh, for people as well i will tell you this a little bit later when we uh, get to the news sh section and as you can see on this picture this is the this is the sea container transportation system and which is awesome about it is that we can take it both from a to point point a to point b and from point B to point A, we can take it back as well at the same time, so we can run it parallel, parallel uh, both directions, which uh, also reduces the amount of time that takes to, to transport goods and the amount of money as well. And well, uh, and uh, this is uh, how we can save resources and uh, and move on in this world with with uh, higher results. Then the fifth point is that we have demand for Skyway everywhere, as Antonioski likes to say, that take out the globe and make it uh, make it go around and close your eyes, point uh, with your finger to one place, and there Skyway is needed. And if you if if you take a look at the world, then there are cities with millions of people everywhere, basically, and then the, all, all those uh, cities uh, suffer under under these severe conditions of of the transportation, where there are traffic jams. How hours and hours are spent every day in traffic jams, to go to work, to come from work. So basically, we have maybe two, three hours free time only in a day. Skyway makes it, for example. Uh, one time an Indian governor said that if we consider Skyway and if we take it in use, then we will reduce the amount of time that goes, he mentioned two places, which takes you normally eight hours to drive, we will reduce it uh, down to one to five. it's uh, four times less and even more. So, and the sixth point is that we have strong 
a professional team among mil, mil, about a million of investors. We have a team that constantly works, that designs. Those are engineers, um, architects, and well, specialists. And we have more than 600 people that are working toward the goal and toward the mission, which is, uh, which is great. All right, let's see. Takes a little bit of time with loading. So seven point is that it is financially beneficial. I hope you hear me. So seven point is that it is financially beneficial and uh, I can see two uh, parts or two sides here. First one is that it is financially beneficial for the, um, well, for the customer who orders this uh, technology. And uh, well, mainly because of its price, it's about 10 times uh, cheaper than, well, the traditional or, or normal um, transportation systems that are built today. It's even uh, many times cheaper than a tramway. And it's about the same as building an asphalt road. So there is, uh, we can think about it. But then uh, the news, I like the news because uh, this inspire and show that we are in the right place in the right time. And the first news is about Skyway, a project that was announced in United Arab Emirates. And actually I told you about this before as well. And it was, um, um, two, two roads, about 100 kilometer and about 10 kilometer. First one for the transportation for the uh, cargo, for the goods, and the other one for people. And the uh, second news is about that we were on uh, on a French television, and uh, we have been about well in every month we have been in summer in television. But this time it was French television, which showed uh, transportation on the first uh, test of, uh, of uh, sea container transportation. And then, uh, as you might uh, remember, there was an accident in Suez Canal where the uh, ship went, uh, uh, well, got stuck in, in the canal and that caused about 10 billion US dollar damage to economically. And therefore they had to find or started to see if there are new solutions or more solutions and then Skyway was uh, offered them or proposed. So let's see how that uh, that one goes. And then Anatoly Nitsky made a um, interview recently about the stage 15 and plans for the future and he said many things that basically we have, we have already this uh, nine story building in Belarus mm, and uh, we have all together, we have 36 buildings in different countries and all, all the investors are co-owners of these buildings as well. Uh, uh, because those are common ownership acquired for funds invested in the technology. And then he told about the first track, the 400 meter track that has been already built in United Emirates and the two, two and a half kilometer tracks are under construction. And also they have designed 12 transport modes in a short period of time and all these are manufactured products. Then we have a great uh, powerful production facilities which are fitted with modern equipment. For example, five axis and seven axis machines that cost about million dollars each and uh, no en enterprise in Belarus uh, possesses such a complete set of equipment. And our investors are also co-own those facilities, uh, also co-owners of those uh, facilities. 
then about the target projects and the first uh, stages of work on target projects are already ongoing and this year uh, we'll announce uh, several target projects that uh, we are that they are undertaking and these are not the projects that are planned for the future but these are projects that are already working or that they are already working on and about the de uh, development stage 15 as you, as you might understand only if you don't know yet then we have 15 stages of development we are at, currently at the uh, 14th of stage and the 15 uh, 15th of stage will um, uh, uh, last about uh, next two years now because uh, in the end of the 15th stage we will have this uh, fast line up to five to six hundred kilometers per hour model and that will will be designed to to end the 15th stage and afterwards there should be an IPO as well so therefore the second part as mentioned in under financial beneficial section that uh, there are two uh, parts one is decide who orders the technology who pays for it and the other one is uh, who, who are investors like me and like uh, about a million people globally. And those people all will benefit because uh, when we go to IPO or we, when the projects start to bring in uh, uh, money to the, to the company, then there will be dividends paid out to the investors. And the plans for the future in, in five years, the capitalization of a group of companies is to be at least 500 billion and in 10 years at least a trillion dollars and there will be eight thousands and hundreds of projects in in work and they will have a specialized or we will have various elements of the string system and we have, have already the technology in place to make a separate production for the urban freight and high-speed vehicles and Anatoly Nitsky wishes us uh, well the wishes to investors uh, he wishes the patience in waiting and said no business plan has ever ha had a deadline and these are pro projections and life always makes serious adjustments the key is patience and understanding so that's by Anatoly Nitsky. and then the last news Nadezhda, Nadezhda Gozero also who's the CEO of uh, of Skyway she also hmm, commented uh, or, or gave an interview and he said that five years ago the entire team was housed in a small rented office uh, but even in that con those conditions they were able to prepare for the inner trans exhibition in Berlin as you might know that that the exhibition takes place after every two years and is, a, is a, one of the most major pro uh, yeah, exhibitions in the world or, where all this new transportation and existing transportation solutions are presented. A lot of presidents from different countries go there and the ministers and so on. And then he's, she said that uh, there are five main directions, design of building and facilities, design of track structure, design of transport means, automation of the track structure and transport complex and certification of transport. So you can read more thoroughly about this in your back office news section, and uh, I will I will show you just this uh, last picture, and we'll say that uh, may the forces be with us, uh, as they have been all this time, and even Dalai Lama, the spiritual guy, uh, guru in in the world, also gave his blessing and said that eventually it will all be successful of course it will not be easy uh, but in the end it, it will be a successful project so that is great to know, know as well but uh, anyway thank you very much for listening to today's webinar we are in the end and i will invite you all to see uh, next presentation uh, on 2nd of June uh, exactly in two weeks and then we will discuss again about this technologies we will see the latest news and of course if you have uh, questions you can ask them from me uh, at the presentation or during the presentation and then what is more bring new people uh, show them this uh, this amazing information and let them discuss to do 
because all the support is necessary and let's support the Mesa project and we'll we will benefit it from it as well in the in the near future hopefully and and well in the future of course but hopefully already in the near future so let's see let's embrace the projects and and uh, i will thank you very much for listening goodbye <laughs>